So before the video gets started, just to let you know, I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 10,000 followers on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me now so I can post it soon. Hello everybody, it is Louisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a like makeup declutter and a makeup collection because I feel like I haven't filmed a makeup collection in probably like over two years now. Like I haven't actually checked, but I feel like it was like over two years ago, probably like 2017 or maybe 2018. I'm not sure, but I used to like love watching these videos when I was younger and I feel like my channel's kind of like drifted away from doing like makeup videos. And my channel, like when I started off, kind of used to to be more like makeup related but now like I'd say my channel's more like lifestyle and like school related. I feel like I've grown most of my audience from doing like school and lifestyle related videos. I started collecting makeup when I was about like 11 years old maybe 10 and I haven't bought much recently but I've still got so much makeup which I just needed to get rid of so I thought instead of just doing it by myself I thought I'd film it for a YouTube video and I just find these videos really like satisfying to watch like getting rid of makeup I don't know why but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you are new because it will mean the world to me without further ado let's get on with the video so i'm currently stood in front of my makeup drawers these drawers are called the alex nine drawers and they're from ikea i've had them for about three four years now and if you've been on youtube for a while you'd have seen that like a lot of youtubers used to have these drawers and i think a lot of youtubers still have these drawers but i feel like they don't get spoken about as much when i bought them they were about 90 pounds but i think they've gone up now but i'll link them down below if you're interested they're really good just for like storing makeup and skincare and everything in so yeah i basically just use the top four drawers for storing my makeup in and then on top i've got a couple of bits which i'll go through okay so on top i've just got this little dish which is from ikea and i just have on it my favorite perfume from ariana grande and then i just have some of my everyday jewelry from like nomination and pandora and at the back i've just got my yankee candle and snowflake cookie which i literally haven't burnt for years i don't know why but it's on this candle holder again from ikea and then i've just got my makeup brushes and again this little pot from ikea i don't think i'm gonna get rid of any of my brushes just because i use most of them so that's just what's on top of my drawers i'm now going to get into the actual drawers um, and declutter my makeup because i need to get rid of so much makeup oh uh, yeah i also have my everyday makeup on my desk but i'll go through that at the end because i'm keeping most of that stuff so all of the makeup in here is stuff that i don't really use on an everyday basis so that's why i need to get rid of a lot of stuff because i've just had it cluttered here for years i'm gonna get rid of quite a lot of it and i've just got this bag here to put stuff in so before i give you guys a collection and get rid of stuff i just want to say none of this stuff is going to go to waste and um, it's either going to go to my mum or friends and also my mum's going to take some bits to her work and see if people want it or it will go in the bin if it's like super out of date and pretty gross i'm just going to go into the first drawer which is my face drawer Okay, so this is just what my face drawer looks like. So in here, I've just got foundations, concealers, powders, basically just everything for your base um, and also bronzers and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with my foundations. As I said earlier, my everyday foundations and stuff are on my desk. So these are the foundations that I don't really use. The first one is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Superstay and I don't really use it, but like I haven't had it for that long. So I think I might just keep it. I've then got the Rimmel Match Perfection. I don't really use this foundation but there's nothing wrong with it i've had it for quite a while though so it's probably going to be out of date but i think i might just keep it and then the same with the l'oreal true match this one's too pale for me i don't really use this it's too light for me because i fake tan quite a bit but i have another l'oreal foundation which is too dark for me which is on my desk and um, i use it to mix with that foundation and it's actually really good so i'm going to keep it but i am going to get rid of um this rimmel bb cream because i just don't like it and then I think I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't use it. I then just have some concealers. So the first one is from Collection. I think this is like two years old and probably quite dried up and gross. I mean, it still looks liquidy, but I just don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it. So I think I'm just going to put it in the bin. Right, the next one is from Revolution. There's nothing wrong with it. I just haven't used it that much, but I am going to keep it because it's actually quite good. This one from e.l.f. I absolutely hate. It's really dark. And yeah, I'm just going to bin this, I think. And 
then lastly this one from LA Girl I think I'm gonna keep because there's nothing wrong with it I just haven't used it so I'm gonna keep that one okay moving on to this container um, I'm gonna get rid of this because I just don't use it and this I've literally had this for like three four years I think probably four years I'm gonna keep it because it's actually a really nice blusher I'm gonna have this Too Faced one which I actually used to use quite a bit uh, I'm gonna keep it because it's actually really nice and then I have this Blushing Hearts one which is actually really nice but I just don't use it so I really know what to do with it I might just keep it because it's really cute I then have this sleek blusher I literally don't use it so I'm gonna give that to someone I've then got this one from W7 which again I just don't use so I'm gonna give this to someone I've got this collection little blush thing which I literally don't use so I'm gonna get rid of that as well and then I've got this little collection cream blusher which again I literally haven't used in years so I'm gonna get rid of that one and then I've got two of these little benefit tints which I literally hate like I don't really get them like they just don't really apply nice to the face and I don't like them on my lips so I'm gonna give them to someone. I've then got this Um, I think this dried up because I haven't used it in yeah It's pretty disgusting. So I'm just gonna bin this. I literally got like three things left in here The next container is like powders and bronzers and stuff So the first thing is this Laura Mercier powder I got it off Depop and I think it's fake because it's just not good at all It leaves my skin looking really patchy and disgusting So I think I'm gonna probably bin it. The next thing is this powder which is smashed So I'm gonna bin that. Okay, the next Next thing is this bourgeois bronzer which I'm gonna keep because I got it for Christmas and I haven't really used it yet so I'm gonna keep it. I've got this cream bronzer which I'm gonna get rid of because I don't really like it. Okay I've then got this little uh, liquid highlight thing which is from Sheen and I'm gonna bin that because I don't use it. Then got two cream little like contour sticks which I'm gonna get rid of because I don't like them. And at the back I've got some primers and stuff so I've got this Maybelline baby skin. I think this is basically used up wait let me see if i can get anything out yeah it's literally used up so i'm gonna get rid of that i've then got this one which i'm gonna give to someone i think because i don't use it i've then got this benefit primer again i don't really like this so i'm gonna get rid of it i've then got this sponge which i might just keep because i can use it for like baking with it's not a good sponge because it's really hard but i can find a use for it i've then got this little professional from benefit tiny bit left so i might just keep it got the sponge which I'll keep it's a bit dirty but I can still use it and I've then got these sponges from MAC which I don't really have a use for so I'll put these in a bag to give to someone I've then got this revolution palette I actually love revolution but I just don't use this I might just keep it actually okay, so that is it for the top drawer it's literally so empty like it looks so weird but anyway this is my eye drawer in here I've just got like mascara single eyeshadows eyelashes eyeliners a bunch of stuff I'm gonna start with my mascara Basically, I have my everyday mascaras on my desk, so pretty much all of these have dried up. But I've got this one from Technic, which I haven't opened yet, so I'm going to keep that. This Maybelline one, Maybelline is my favourite brand for mascara. This mascara is amazing, but I think it's dried up. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left in there, so I'm going to bin that one. This Lash Sensational, is this dried up? I feel like it is. Um, There's a little bit left in there, so I'll keep that. I've then got this Benefit Roller Lash. I used to love this mascara, but I haven't used it for ages. I think it's all used up actually. Uh, the next thing is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It makes me so sad because these mascaras are all like £20 each. Okay there's a tiny bit left in there so I'll keep that. Uh, the next mascara is this Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I don't think there's anything left in there so I can bin that. I've then got this one from Benefit. It's just the their real mascara. Um, I don't know if I've used this. No, I think it's dried up. I'll bin that. I've got this thing from Benefit. It's basically like a little pencil and I'll keep that because I might use it. I've then got this sleek mascara. That's actually brand new, I think, so I'll keep that. I've then got this mascara, which I think is like three years old. Yeah, that's really dried up. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this pot because it's pretty gross. Okay, these are the only mascaras which I'm actually keeping. This isn't even a mascara, so I'm just gonna put this on top until I get to the eye pencil stuff. Okay, in the next pot, I've just got some single eyeshadows and eyelashes. I haven't actually used these so I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna get rid of this because I literally don't use it. I've got a load of these mini little sleek palettes which I literally don't use but they're so cute so I think I'm gonna keep them. I might use them for like traveling or something. I actually love this Maybelline um, eyeshadow but it's really dried up because it's a cream eyeshadow so I think 
think I'll get rid of this. Or I might just keep it actually and then I can always throw it away later. I think I'm going to get rid of these Kiko eyeshadows because I just don't use them. This MAC eyeshadow again I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to keep this Kiko one because it's actually really nice. It's like a shimmery like champagne gold kind of colour. And then I'm going to get rid of this B little pot. Okay I've then got this little um, box. I think it's got eyelash glue in it. I'm not sure. It actually does have lashes inside so I'm going to keep this box. I've then got this Maybelline box which is empty so obviously going to bin that. I've got this little collection like, silver like eyeliner kind of thing which yeah I don't use it. It's pretty rubbish so I'm going to get rid of that. I've then got a load of like single eyeshadows. Okay, that's actually really pretty. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep all of these. Okay, I've then got a load of like little eyeshadow sticks and eyeliners. I literally don't use any of them, but I'm going to keep a couple. So I've got this little sleek uh, gold like glitter eyeliner. Okay, um, don't really know what to do with this. No, it's actually pretty rubbish. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, I'm definitely getting rid of that. Um, This NYX pencil I'm going to keep because it's just like a white colour, but it's actually quite useful. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this Kiko pencil. Never going to use blue eyeliner, so I'll get rid of that. This little sleek eyeliner. It's actually brand new, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that because it's actually quite good. I've then got this little collection eyeshadow stick. Okay, that's rubbish. I'm going to get rid of that. It's dried up. And then I've got a little um, mascara wand, which is always useful to have. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, so in this part, I've just got some random little bits. So first of all, I've got these like glitters from NYX. I've used these for like parties and stuff, and it's actually really good. So I'm going to keep that. And then I've just got some glitter glue, which I'm going to keep. I've got number seven little sharpener, which I'm going to keep because this is very useful. I've then got a Benefit Gimme Brow, which is in shade five. So it's for people with like dark brown hair. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I've got this little eyebrow kit which i actually used to use so i might keep it because it was actually really good i've also got this brow kit from benefit let me show you guys i think everything's out of it i've just got like this thing which i don't use i've taken everything out of it but i just don't want to throw away the packaging because it's really nice so i'm going to keep it i've then got some like packaging which i'm just going to get rid of because i don't collect it anymore i've got like some little testers which i'm going to keep okay so that's it for that drawer um here is my final drawer this is my lip drawer. I actually haven't been in here for ages because I just use the lip products which are on my dressing table. My favourite section is definitely this one. It's just got all of my nude coloured lipsticks in. The first one is this one from Sleek which I'm going to keep. This one from NYX. I think it's quite dried up but I might keep it because it's actually really nice. This one from Nude Lip. I think it's from this brand here. Nude Lips. I got it at Beautycon. But I think I might keep it because it's actually really cute. It just comes in this little box. It's not called Nude Lips. It's called Nude Sticks. I then have this Kat Von D lipstick which is way too dark. I got it in Sephora and I didn't realise how dark it was going to be but I'm going to keep it because it's like a memory of going to Sephora for me. I then got this NUA lipstick which I love. I'm going to get rid of this 17 lip crayon because it's not good. I've got this Too Faced lipstick which I don't use but it's really cute because it's so small. Um, okay it's actually really pale I'm going to get rid of it. I got this L'Oreal lipstick which is actually really nice so I'll keep that. I've then got this little Sephora lip gloss which is literally the colour of concealer like I'm not even joking that is concealer to me. I've then got this Sephora lipstick which is really dark but I mean it's from Sephora and it's like a memory so I want to keep it. I've then got this Clinique lipstick which I used to use a little bit but I mean I don't use it so I'll give that to someone one that wants it. Then got this Urban Decay lipstick which I actually really like but I just haven't used it for ages because I prefer to use lip gloss like I don't really use lipstick anymore but I'm gonna keep it. Then got this lip liner from L'Oreal which is actually really good so I'm gonna keep that and then I've got this lip crayon from Sleek. Okay I've used that so much I'm gonna get rid of that. Moving on to my pink section. First of all I have this lip balm from Benefit, which I think I'm going to get rid of. This Victoria's Secret lip gloss, which I'm going to put in the bin because it's really old. Um, I've then got this Tanya Burr lip gloss, which is so old. I used to love this, but I think I'm going to bin it. I've then got this clear lip gloss, which I'm going to get rid of because it's really bad. I've got this cream puff collection, which I'm going to get rid of. I've got this from Sleek, which I don't like the colour of it, so I'm going to bin it. Actually, I'm going to keep this because I actually quite like it. I'm going to get rid of this Revolution lip gloss because it's like holographic and I just don't wear it. This WC 
whichever one is going in the bin. I've then got a Clinique lipstick, which is so old. I've then got this MAC lipstick in this color, which is too pale. So I'm gonna give that to someone. And then I've got this MAC lipstick, which is so bright. I actually used to wear this. Like I remember wearing this, but I'm gonna get rid of it. This Kiko lipstick. It's barely been worn, but I'm gonna give that to someone. This Clinique lipstick, gonna give that to someone. Uh, this Clarins lip gloss, I think I'm gonna give to someone. This lipstick from Benefit, I'm gonna keep because I actually quite like it. And this Rimmel lipstick, I'm gonna give to someone. I'm not gonna move on to like red and berry kind of lipsticks. I literally don't ever wear red, but I mean, it's good to have one just in case. So first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this lip crayon. I'm gonna get rid of these two lip glosses because I just don't like the colors of them. I'm gonna give this Benefit lip balm to someone. This sleek lipstick, it's actually really good, like it's really creamy, but I don't wear red. I'm just gonna keep it in case I ever need a red color. I've got this red liquid lipstick, which I'm gonna keep in just in case I need it. I'm never gonna wear this, so I'm gonna give this to someone. I'm gonna keep this Sephora one, and I'm gonna give that to someone. And then I've just got a red lip liner, which I'm gonna keep. In here, I've just got some lip liners and a few more lip crayons, so I'm gonna get rid of the lip crayons. I'm gonna get rid of this purple lip liner, and I'm gonna keep these two sleeves lip liners because they're quite nice colours but I'm going to get rid of the dark ones because I don't wear dark lipstick. Okay, I've then got some lip balms which I kind of forgot I owned. I'm going to keep the Sephora one because it actually smells so nice and I haven't used it for ages. I kind of forgot I had it and then I'm actually going to keep these because they're so nice. They're from America and I think they're called Revos. I've got this Nude Sticks. Oh, it's a sharpener. I literally forgot I had this so I'm going to keep that. So yeah, that's literally everything in this drawer. Okay, I've got rid of so many lip products. Oh my god. I'm going to like all Organize it later so I can't be bothered right now. Okay, moving on to the last drawer. This is my palette drawer. Oh my god, this is so full. Okay, so the first palette is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm gonna keep this because although like I don't really use it, it was one of my first ever like eyeshadow palettes, and I remember being like so happy when I got this. And it's actually really good. Like I really like the colours, I just like never reach for it, but I'm gonna keep it. Same with the Too Faced Sweet Peach. I'm gonna keep this because it is like £40. And then I'm gonna keep my Fenty Beauty palette because I got this like a few months ago and it's really good. Then have this Primark contour palette, which I don't use, so I'm gonna give that to someone. I then have this MUA palette, which I'm gonna give to someone as well. And then I think I'm gonna keep this little collection palette because it's actually really good. And then I'm gonna give this W7 palette to someone because I don't use it. Okay, I then have this palette. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's actually really good. It's from Sheen. And then I've got this Benefit palette, which is so used. So I'm gonna bin that. Then got this sleek palette, which is broken. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. Then got this um, Benefit palette, which I'm going to keep because I barely ever use it, but I want to use it again. So I'm gonna keep it. Then got this big Revolution palette, which I'm gonna keep because it's really useful having like loads of different colors. Revolution palette, I think I'm gonna keep because it's actually really good. And then this Revolution palette, again, I'm gonna keep because I haven't really used it and I want to like experiment with contour so I'm gonna keep that. So yeah that is basically everything decluttered. I'm just gonna pop all of the palettes which I'm keeping back. Uh, I don't really know how to organise them to be honest. Okay that's just gonna do. I might organise it better later. Okay so that is all of my main makeup drawers decluttered. I've got rid of so much stuff and I'm gonna like organise them later because a lot of my drawers are really empty. I'm now gonna move on to my desk where I store my everyday makeup. Okay, so here's just like my everyday makeup. I don't actually know if I'm gonna get rid of anything because I pretty much use everything. Right, I'm not gonna go through everything because I feel like that's gonna take ages, but I'm just gonna go through like and show you guys some of my favorite like everyday makeup bits. Every day, pretty much, I wear this BB cream from Garnier. It's just so lightweight, but it makes your skin look so fresh and nice. I also love this mascara from Essence. It's called the Lash Princess. I also really like this foundation from L'Oreal. It's just the L'Oreal True Match, but this one's a bit dark for me, so I mix it with the other one. Um, I also absolutely love this Maybelline mascara. It's called the Lash Sensational, and it's honestly so good. My favourite concealer would have to be this one from Rimmel. What else do I love? To be honest, like, there's no products that I'm obsessed with that I really recommend. Some of my makeup that I use is alright, but it's not the best. This bronzer is quite good from Rimmel. It's not amazing, though. This MUA bronzer is really good, and it's really cheap. 
think that's about it to be honest my other makeup isn't that brilliant this palette's really nice from beauty bay anyway yeah that is basically my makeup collection and my makeup declutter yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm sorry if it's been really long so i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys all next week for a new video bye